Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The 8th Wonder of the World. In this video, I'm going to talk about the company which can be a portfolio stock for 5 to 10 years, long term investment. Friends, if you are new here, subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. Hi friends. The history of the company. The origin of the company, a Induja group company can be traced to the urge for self-reliance felt by the independent India. The then Indian first prime minister persuaded Raghunanda Saran, an industrialist, to enter automotive manufacturing. In 1948, Ashok Motors was set up in what was then Madras for the assembly of Austin cars. The company's destiny and the name changed soon with equity participation by British Leyland and Ashok Leyland commenced the manufacturing of commercial vehicles in 1955. Since then, the company has been a major presence in Indian commercial vehicle industry with the tradition of technology leadership achieved through tie-up with international technology leaders and through vigorous in-house R&D. And access to the international technology enabled the company to set up a tradition to be the first with the technology, be it with full air brakes, power steering or rear engine buses. Ashok Leyland pioneered all these concepts. Responding to the operating conditions and the practices in the country, the company made its vehicles stronger or engineering them with an extra metallic muscles, designing durable products that makes economic sense to the consumer using appropriate technology became the design philosophy of the company which in turn has modeled the consumer attitudes and the brand personality. The Induja Group is a transnational conglomerate that provides a wide range of products in over 50 countries worldwide. Today, the Induja Group has become one of the largest transnational business conglomerates in the world with a diversified portfolio spanning all continents. The group employs over 25,000 people and offices in many key cities of the world and all the major cities in India. Ashok Leyland vehicles have built a reputation for reliability and recognition. In the populous India in metros, four out of five state transport undertaking buses come under Ashok Leyland. Some of them, like the double-decker and vestibule buses, are the unique models from Ashok Leyland, tailor-made for high-density routes. In 1987, the overseas holding by Land Rover Leyland International Holding Limited was taken over by the joint venture between the Indu Induja Group and the non-resident Indian Transportation Group and Vesco. So this blueprint prepared for the future reflected the global ambition of the company, which is captured in the four words global standards, global markets. This was the time when the liberalization and the globalization were not yet in the air. Ashok Leyland embarked on a major product and process upgradation to match the world-class standards of the technology. So over the five decades, Ashok Leyland has been the technology leader in the Indian commercial vehicles industry, molding the country's commercial vehicle profile by introducing technologies and product ideas that have gone on to become the industry norms. So, Ashok Leyland offers a wide range of products. 8 out of 10 metro states transport buses in India are from Ashok Leyland. With over 60 million passengers a day, Ashok Leyland buses carry more people than the entire Indian rail network. The product range of the company includes buses, trucks, engine, defense and special vehicles. Associated companies are Automated Coaches and Components Limited, Lanka Ashok Leyland, Induja Foundries, Airizar TVS. Ashok Leyland Project Services Limited. Company's description The industry type is auto, trucks. Group Induja, headquarters in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. It has a market capitalization of 23,880 crores. It is a large cap. The stock is currently trading at Rs 81.35. It has a PE ratio of 17.50 and the industry PE is 25.20. So, which is actually a good proposition. Debt equity of 0.34, which is actually commendable for a company in this industry. The 52-week high of 97.75 and a 52-week low of 56 rupees. A face value of rupees 1. Return summary. The stock returns have underperformed the Sensex by minus 29.58% and outperformed the sector by 0.75% in the last one year. The last time the company paid dividend was on July 23, 2019 of Rs 3.1. 
The company has a high beta of 2 with Sensex, which means the stock is very volatile. Stock return versus Sensex. Before looking at this chart, Ashok Leyland gives great returns when the start of the cyclical recovery. I remember in the first half of 2014, the stock was beaten down because of a lot of issues in the company and the industry and was trading around Rs. 17. The company went up to Rs. 19 in the initial months of 2015. The company rallied because of the cyclical recovery in the earnings of the industry. The stock has underperformed since it returns in most of the periods. One month return of 5.92%, a three month return of 18%, a six month return of a minus 4.07%, and a 10 year return of 205.54%. Performance versus benchmark. The stock performance against the benchmark of SP BSC Midcap and SP BSC Auto has been good for the period of five years, but underperformed in the last one to three years period when compared with the benchmark. Peer comparison. Ashok Leyland performed better than Tata Motors and Force Motors on a long-term basis. The red line is Force Motors and in the year 2014-15 to 15 onwards, it outperformed and in my memory serves me right, Force Motors rallied 400% during that period. That's why you all see Force Motors better than Ashok Leyland during that period. But Ashok Leyland rallied much better in the initial period of that year. The reason I'm mentioning is this, as per the brokerage report, which I'll be discussing even in the end, there is a revival in the industry, so which would benefit Ashok Leyland. Now, talking about the risk adjusted return versus Sensex for one year, the company is high risk and in medium return category. The absolute return is 14.37 and Sensex is 15.21% and the risk adjusted is minus 0.33 versus 13.79% of Sensex. The, the shareholding pattern as of September 2019. The majority of shareholders are promoter having 51.12%. None of the promoters have pledged their shares. Induja Automotive Limited having 34.727 is a promoter having the highest holding. The highest public holding is by Reliance Capital Trust having 3.859%. Mutual fund holding of 7.25%. Insurance holding percentage is 3.63%. Held by 400 FIS having 17.05%. Non-institutional holding is 18.78%. 14.22% is held by individual investors. Shareholding pattern in September 2019 versus June 2019. No change in the promoter holdings. FIA holdings has decreased by a minus 1.7%. The mutual funds holdings has increased by 0.92%. Holdings of the insurance company has increased by 1.9%. The other DIA holdings has decreased by 0.77%. Holdings of the non-institutional shareholders has decreased by 0.35%. Talking about the financials. So these are the numbers of the revenue, earnings and cash and uh, the total debt for the company. The promoter ownership is around 51.12%. The quarterly results were not good compared to the previous quarter. So the revenue was around 24,784 crores and the earnings were 1,000 302 crores. Uh, the company has a cash balance of 2,410 crores and a total debt of 19,167 crores. So talking about company's future in the next few months and the years to come, I came across an interesting article by S Securities and one of their picks was Ashok Leyland. And they had mentioned about what I had observed in the previous few years when the company rallied. The history indicates that Ashok Leyland stock appreciates 30 to 200 percent in the 12 to 18 months window after the cyclical peak in the multiples as the earnings recover. I agree no less and I had the investment of the company during the period and would like everyone to keep the stock on radar and do research and invest in the company after assessing your investment plan. If the earnings cycle picks up, the company will benefit big time. And even I came across another article about Ashok Leyland partners with ABB Power Products for electric bus development, which would be the very good opportunity for the company to grow bigger and even the stock prices will do better because the future is dependent on all these product developments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. This content is intended to be used and must be used for educational purposes only. Please do your own analysis before making any investment based on your own personal circumstances and consult your financial advisor.